Well, she has to start the, uh, start the fire. All right. And then some oil. Who is going to pour in some oil? All right. And here we have our spatula. This is a spatula. It's a big one. Though. A big spatula. And this over here we call a wok. So she is going to use a spatula in the wok. She starts off with the? With the garlic first. Ah, fry the garlic first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can already smell the garlic. Of course. Garlic has such an amazing smell. So while Celine is busy cooking, I want to introduce what we're looking at today. This is a special cuisine of Nahang. It is buffalo skin with sour bamboo. Now, I want to share with you how to use the passive voice, and then we'll look at some vocabulary related to this special cuisine. Let's go. Buffalo skin is thick and tough. It must be well prepared through many procedures to become a delicious treat. Buffalo skin is cut into hand-sized pieces and dipped in hot water to clean it. It is grilled over a charcoal fire until it has a delicious smell. It is then boiled until it becomes softer but not well stewed. The spices used to make delicious fermented buffalo skin must include makan, a kind of pepper used by ethnic people in the northwest region. Other flavors include garlic, hot chili, sugar, salt, canarium album, sour water or fermented bamboo shoot, peanut, and sesame. This kasi dish, Lisa, oh, it looks so delicious. It looks so tasty. You know, I've never tried this dish before. I've never eaten buffalo skin before. So I'm quite curious to see what it tastes like. You know what? It actually sounds a little bit weird, weird to me to eat. Buffalo skin. I know, right? But it still looks very beautiful, right? Actually, if you think about it, we often eat pork crackling or pork skin that has yes, been really right. well cooked. So I'm sure that this is not as bad as I might first think. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ms. Vin prepared the ingredients. And Tu cooked the food. Or the food was cooked by Tu, right? Wow. Is that our new grammar structure for today? Mm, you're so smart. Yeah. We're talking about the passive voice, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. So the passive voice, is that um, any relevant, relevant to the active voice? Of course, it's the opposite. So mm. we'd say that um, to cooked the food is the active voice. Oh. We have the subject who did the action. So the passive is the opposite. Can you give me the opposite of that? Uh, I think so the subject, the object would turn into the person. Mm, so the food is cooked by me. Yes. Right. <laughs> First very, try. very, very good. Yeah. So I eat the speciality dish. The speciality dish is eaten by me. Very good. Wow. So we have these really interesting ingredients. It's quite unusual. Yep. Yeah. Make sure that the, I would like to make sure the students know that this is buffalo skin the skin of the buffalo. And we have this special herb, but I don't know what this herb is in English. I will have to go look it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. So look it up, that is a phrasal verb. Look it up, all right? I have to look up information. That means that I don't know what that information is yet. I will go research what it is. Okay. So many knowledge for today, right? For look sure. It up. Look it up. And yep. now we're going to taste it. Taste it. First and bite, first bite, first bite. First bite, first bite, okay. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, oh wow. You know what? I can immediately taste the sour of the buffalo. Mm. And this buffalo skin. Mm. The buffalo skin is kind of spongy. Mm. A little bit crunchy. Mm. I think a little bit rubbery, but still very crunchy. Yeah, not too rubbery. Not rubbery in a bad way. Yeah, it's rubbery in a good way. <laughs> right. 
Sometimes we use the word rubbery to describe food that is cooked badly. Right? Yeah, and then you. Uh, well, how do you say it in Vietnamese? Nhai or. Chewy. Chewy. Chewing too much, but this is sometimes, perfect. Sometimes we enjoy the rubbery because as the time I chew it, I feel very good. Right. Oh. Because that's the rubbery that. Oh, I think that's different too in my culture. Mm. In my culture, we don't like to chew so much. Really? Yeah. Like you have the, the country chicken mm. that is very chewy in Vietnam, right? Mm. We don't enjoy that. So, it's too hard for us. So the Vietnamese, they usually enjoy like uh, buffalo skin or even pork skin. They enjoy the rubbery when they chew, you, you chew it and you feel the crunchy and mm. the rubbery skin, mm. even buffalo skin. Mm. I'm so interested in this sour bamboo. It's pickled, so it's probably really good for your health and your digestive system, yeah, as pickled right. stuff is. I think we can also eat it with rice, right? Oh, sure. As a main dish. Ah, At okay. the first, I just feel that this only can be a snack for afternoon snack. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be um, brunch, breakfast and lunch. Just a light. <laughs> a light meal. Yeah. yeah. But I think we can also eat it with rice to make it like a main dish. I think so too. Mm. Yeah, this is spectacular. Yeah. I love the sourness. The sourness complements the sweetness of the bamboo and then the saltiness that we put in. Mm -hmm. What do you call that uh, salt mix? It's like a sweet salt um, mix, right? It's like a salt mix with pepper. Oh. We call it zavi. Zavi. Yes. <laughs> zavi. That's special. I don't have that in my home country either. I certainly don't have bamboo. We don't even grow bamboo in South Africa. I feel that this dish is actually very fresh. Mm. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Because it has this fresh crunchiness. Mm. Mm. All right, so now we have our challenge. Mm. Thu, I've come up with a great challenge. Mm -hmm. And that is because this dish is so delicious. You know, the buffalo skin was marinated in the sour bamboo and that's mm. why it's got such a wonderful flavor. So, yep. the challenge is to name as many ingredients related to Vietnamese cooking as we can. And that person who wins can take a bite. Yep. Okay, so is that the, for the um, challenge? We will divide into three parts, breakfast, lunch and dinner, right? Oh. So you will name so you will name for breakfast in your country what will you eat? And then I get a bite, right? Yep. Okay. It is correct. Okay. <laughs> I go first? Yeah. So for breakfast in Vietnamese we usually eat it's rice. Okay, Annie. Yep. Annie. <laughs> Annie. <laughs> Annie. <laughs> Alright, for me in my country, for breakfast we'll eat eggs on toast. Wow, that sounds so delicious. Mm. I want more. Uh-huh. Okay, lunch. Lunch? Mm -hmm. Um Mm. You think we eat for lunch? Yeah, you do. Mm. Okay, I had one bite. Okay. For lunch in South Africa, uh, we could eat a salad. No. Oh, no. Nice and healthy. How can you eat salad for lunch? Of course. Okay, fine. <laughs> we have a dish called um, bup in sauce, all right? And that's with uh, cornmeal porridge, with uh, tomato relish, and then a piece of meat, like uh, budovos, which is a special kind of sausage. We eat that for lunch. Wow. Mm -hmm. More knowledge for the audience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dinner. Dinner, dinner. Dinner usually will be, in my country, will be homemade. Oh. We eat rice uh -huh. and food. Yeah, what food with the rice? Rice <laughs> is not the meal, right? <laughs> There's so many foods for me. Okay. Let me think of. Do you have a vegetable? Choose a vegetable. Vegetable, um, came home fried with onion. Okay, and next one? And the meat, the right? The meat, very native. Mm -hmm. And we're eating with rice. Which meat? Pork. Okay. Why? Rizzo, I want to you need to be specific. Food. Okay, now you marinated get to have a bite. Pork. So marinated pork and kango with garlic with okay. rice, okay? Okay, that sounds like a delicious Vietnamese dinner. Yeah. Wow, okay, my turn, my turn. I want to eat some. Yep. Um, okay, dinner in South Africa. We have a very special dish called babuti, and that is made with beef mince, and it has egg on top with some cooked banana, and the key uh, spice is cinnamon. So this is a very mm. special dish from South Africa we'd have for dinner. Is that sweet or sweet? Oh no, it's it's savory, but mm. there's a slight sweetness with the bamboo, uh, with the bamboo. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> with the banana. <laughs> Still count, eat one bite. Yay! Thank you. I think this challenge is pretty very hard. Yeah. No. These are all the food. Oh, 
Oh, well, I think that we've won the challenge already. Yay. Okay, you have more interesting footage. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of our episode. Yep. You and I are going to keep eating this delicious dish, and you have to keep studying at home, right? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Please remember to revise the vocabulary we've looked yep. at today related to delicious food and to Nahang. What a wonderful place. And also the grandma, you right? Of course. Remember that you can use the passive voice to talk about things that have been done. You have to practice this all over again so mm -hmm. you can remember the formula and also the examples. Right? All right. We'll see you in the next episode of Street VN. From me, Liesl. And me too. Bye-bye.